Well, you've all waited. I've dreaded this moment since the day I started F-Zero, but here it is. F-Zero GX. Story Mode. Chapter 7. I'd hate to disappoint you all, so very hard mode, let's go! You still suck. Yeah, he's okay in this game. Oh, and there's no applause for Goro. How do you like that? I don't see why they're introducing Gazelle. He's, he didn't exactly have presence in this game. Still alive, it seems, but I won't miss this chance to make mincemeat of you. <laughs> Black Shadow, I'll show you. You'll never beat me. I always thought Black Shadow wanted to kill Falcon in front of his fans, anyhow, so this will work out nicely for him. By the way, I should mention that when the race actually starts, all of the machines will be in the same positions you saw them in the cutscene, so Black Shadow will be right behind us when we start. You can turn that to advan your advantage with a well-placed side attack, but I've never actually killed him in the beginning of a race like this. So, the Grand Prix... Oh dear lord, what is there to say? Well, first I should mention that the number of laps you race depends on the difficulty level. So, normal mode gets the usual three laps, hard mode will get four laps, and very hard will get five laps. I don't really see what the point of that is is it seems like the sh the less time you have to actually secure your first place the better for the computer but who knows so we seem to be doing quite well um black shadow and blood falcon here have a really str uh they have a really really cranky ai that's that's a horrible way to describe it but they are almost always in first and second place like see their AI is set to rubber band mode. It's like the... Well, well, I just got lucky and destroyed Blood Falcon there, but... Their AI is set to rubber band mode. It's like Goro from Chapter 2. Uh, that one racer from Chapter 3. I mean, look at that. He just sped way ahead of me, and he hasn't even used up much of his boost. You can kill him. You can kill him. He's not invincible like Samurai Goro from Chapter 2. But if... But, um... He does seem to be very far ahead of me. Now this course, I haven't talked about the course quite yet, but you've seen two laps already. This course introduces lava. It damages you consistently as soon as you touch it. It damages you as long as you are t on top of it, is what I'm trying to say here. Now, technically other courses do have lava. If you trigger a landmine, it'll be replaced by a small pool of lava. But but um, as for lava pits like the ones you're seeing here, these only show up in chapters 7 and 8. They are nowhere else in the game. So that isn't cool. Also, I don't like the placement of the ice there, especially considering there's no guardrail. There's no guardrail in an area coming up here either, and... Black Shadow certainly is being aggressive, but that's to be expected in very hard mode, and... Um, the other racers actually put up a pretty decent fight, too, so don't let them catch up. Yeah. That is a pretty tall order, considering it, it's story mode. So I hit him once, and he's almost dead. Start thinking I can catch up to him and knock him off for good. Come on. Yeah, there we go. With the two best racers out of the Grand Prix, we it is going to be smooth sailing from here on out. I win! Oh, wait a minute. There's still 28 other racers. Oh, please let me catch up. Please let me catch up. No, I'm not gonna make it! Ah! Okay. You know what? That does it. That freaking does it. You know, I... Ah. I need to let something out here, alright? I'm just gonna 
lay it on you and let it all go. Dear Nintendo, your cock-sucking product has reduced me to a gibbering man-ape whose only resort to dealing with the almighty fucking grief it's bestowed upon me is to scream and hurt myself. Seriously, I am jumping up and down and throwing my shit in handfuls at the fucking television in some important primal effort to get the thing to work. I have been sitting here trying to enjoy your product. Your product! Your game! Your contract between developer and consumer that the consumer will enjoy your product, but instead the damn thing's been crawling out of the console and taking warm shits in my gaping mouth. I swear to god you should have just added a little door to the console to which a hand pops out and flips me off. Because I am insulted that your QA or testers or whatever brainless shit stuff three genes short of a fucking fact that signs your games through thoughts that a person with more than a single fucking digit IQ could enjoy story mode chapter 7. Insulted. Work with me here. The, the goal is simple enough. Come in first. Hey, that's fine. It's just like playing the grand fucking pre, not a problem. Only deal is your cross-eyed team of tongue-slapping wonderkind decided to give the game every single fucking advantage possible to the game rather than me. How in the fuck does Black Shadow, whose car is the heaviest and lamest piece of shit next to the crazy bear, actually it's kind of a lie, but suddenly become so fucking good that he can stand first without using a drop of boost? Huh? Why? You never see this shithead anywhere near the top fucking 20 in a normal race, but oh ho ho, this time he's mega cock, the fastest faggot in the world, 1.21 gigawatts, Marty, let's go back to the fucking future. But it's not just Black Shadow with the magical powers, it's the entire fucking lineup of racers. They're all faster than you and don't require any boost. But, but, but I, of course, am still driving some piece of shit hamster power chalapi who guzzles its entire energy bar in the less than four fucking boosts. Add to this, the entire course just got shitted on by some retarded space tiki volcano god, and you've got a course full of hazards that are, will drain at least one quarter of your energy bar just because it can't. Whoopee! <laughs> you say? That's just the challenge! It's not supposed to be that easy! Well, fuck that noise, you lopsided frankin' face fuck further. Tell me, please. Why does the game have to win, huh? What happens when the game wins and I lose? Is there some huge fucking kegger waiting for it when it gets done? Is there money involved? Or perhaps the motives are more sinister? Maybe the game's family is being held hostage by another game, and that game has its cock in F-Zero's wife mouth, and he's holding a cell phone up to her, and F-Zero can hear her pain, moan, and cries for help. And the asshole game then says, You beat that cock-sucking human or I'll blow your brains out! I can understand that. I can be sympathetic. It's not any fun if I can't win, you faggots! I wanna move on! I wanna unlock whatever piece of shit clown car you have hidden away from me so I can start racing and get pissed off with that too. When your game prevents me from fully enjoying the product I have bought, you have failed in your fucking mission to deliver a game. You lose! You break the contract! You contract the game and fucking die, die, die! Alright, now that that's off my chest, let's actually win this race. We are going to cheat. We are going to use a little glitch in the game mechanics known by the F-Zero community as snaking. Here's what you do. You set... In the machine setting screen, you'll want to set your settings to maximum acceleration because this won't work uh, under any other setting. Then, during the race, Rapidly alternate between L and L trigger, left and L trigger, and right and R trigger. Uh, as you can see here, this causes you to move in a sort of snake like pattern, hence the phrase snaking. This is what it's called. Now, for whatever reason, if you're at maximum acceleration and you try snaking, it causes your speed to take a huge in increase. Like, I was going at a 1,000 kmh before, and now I'm up to 1,300 and 1,500 at maximum. So using this, you can break a lot of s situations in the game. You can beat story mode easier, you can win the Grand Prix easier, there are even custom machines specifically tailored for this sort of thing, and you will 
break the time trial records, believe me. But, um... Of course, as you've seen, I was using this in those several other attempts, and it still wasn't enough. Oh no. Because the AI rubber bands, it's actually... They're actually going to catch up to you, even if you're sneaking like a madman. It's... So... Awful. I... I was legitimately frustrated with this, and I and I was staying pretty calm for the rest of story mode, believe me. Speaking of which, um, where's Black Shadow? Did he, like, fall off or something? Because he's not anywhere near the top six right now. Oh well, the less I have to deal with that, those two, the better. It's really just those two, Blood Falcon and Black Shadow. I do not know why their a AI just decided to be so good. But I suppose if they're going to cheat, we might as well cheat back. Gosh, look at that! That's really just the best example I have for you right there. And what's even more hilarious is, um, if you try sneaking with Black Shadow's machine, uh, it just makes you go so fast. It's like, it's it's the second best machi default machine in the game, out of like the original 41. It's it's the second best for snaking. The very very best is the Fat Shark. Yeah, wrap your head around that one. God, I'm just so glad to be done with this stupid chapter. They're actually really letting up. The, on this attempt. I have no idea what it is. Maybe I'm just lucky. I win! I freaking win! Again! Our champion, Captain Falcon! Yeah, that's a sort of anticlimactic. It was a one-race Grand Prix. A belt. That's your prize. A belt. Well, that and three mil three billion space credits. Black Shadow, you failed again. You good for nothing. <laughs> A lightsaber. Forgive me, Lord Death. Oh my goodness. A freaking lightsaber. I am Deathborn, the Grand Prix champion of the underworld. Why don't you? Why don't you and I race tomorrow? I'm the ultimate evil. Why don't you and I race tomorrow? <laughs> it's just so hilarious. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm going crazy. It's so stupid, you know? Okay. Chapter 8. I have to do it on hard mode. I'm sorry, but very hard mode, even though I've beaten it. That was with snaking. That was with luck. Blockable airy. So, we're doing it on hard mode. Yes. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you. Did you bring the champion's belt? Good. Blockable area. Why isn't it blocked then? Falcon, shall I tell you something before you die? Dark and light, the two great forces which make up our universe. These two universal forces are condensed in each of our belts. Didn't you know? At the moment when the two forces become one, it is possible to seize that power. Then I can turn this whole galaxy into a pile of ashes in an instant. How I've waited for this moment. The world will fall into total darkness. Not if I can help it. I'll destroy you yet. Let's go. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are the universal forces contained in the prize belt for the F-Zero Grand Prix where anybody can win them? Oh! <laughs> I'm 
losing it. I apologize. I'm just losing it right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, chapter 8. I... Just like the previous chapter. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we got landmines. And... There, there's numerous pit areas placed throughout the course. Don't you worry. Um, funny story about this course. Um, if you look at the internal game data, this course is labeled as Fire Field. Even though it... it I don't think it's actually Fire Field, but it, it might as well be. There's lava everywhere. Anyways, this is a one-on-one -on -one race, just like Chapter 2. And uh, Death Ward here has the same AI as Samurai Goro did. You get close to him and it'll boost, and he's also indestructible, etc, etc, etc. But, um, there's plenty of pit areas and plenty of landmines, so I actually consider this far more of a fair challenge than Chapter 2. It's not going to stop me from, um, snaking. I think I snaked, I can't quite remember. I certainly bounced around a lot. And just like, um, just like, uh, in the previous race, the higher the difficulty, the more laps you have to do. I still don't know why they do that. It's more advantageous to the computer if you have less time to catch up to them. I suppose I've already caught up to him right, ne right here, though. Now all I have to do is boost like crazy and stay ahead. Ah, uh, stop bouncing. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Sure is epic, huh? He sure is a ways behind me, though. I think... Yeah, yeah. On very hard mode, he cheats even harder than he does here. Like, I'm actually... I'm act it's actually very stimulating to stay ahead of him like this. On very hard mode, yeah, luck. You need luck there. Just one more lap and one more chapter and we are through with GX and it's ilk. You can't not get frustrated playing GX. I mean, it's such a fun game, but story mode is the worst part of it. I, I could really do without story mode. It shouldn't have been included. Like, I, I would take another Grand Prix over story mode any day of the week, personally. Oh, I just barely dodged that landmine. If I had hit it, it would have been over. That song really just sets the tone for the whole thing. The evil forces will never get their hands on this belt. I'll keep winning. There's nobody there! Why are you doing that? One last race. If you were expecting some huge, epic, challenging race for the big finish here, God, am I happy to disappoint. First, the cutscene. Falcon. <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> Look, I'm over here, Falcon. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> we are the creators. What are you talking about? <laughs> we created the whole world. What a surprise! You beat Death Born was our best creation. Your best creation? <laughs> <laughs> so, it was you who set up everything. But why? To tell you the truth, 
There are no universal forces. What? Now you have become the champion of the two grand beings. We'll take out your soul from your body and turn it into our creation. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Come off it. You think you can beat me? No way. I must... Uh, they were on drugs when they made this chapter. So, we're racing against Sega, apparently. This is a race against a thing called a Staff Ghost. These Staff Ghosts actually crop up in a, in a number of racers, including Mario Kart. What they are, are pre-recorded... Um, re input recording, basically, of, of one of the game creators racing on the course so it's pre-recorded so it will always make the same movements every time you race against it and you can't touch it that plus the fact that there are no guardrails here means that the only way you can die is by falling off and that is a bit of a failing on this course's part now it's challenging by virtue of you know there's no guardrails and there are a couple of hairpin turns that you have to be aware of but once you have the course nailed down, all you really have to do is, on the second lap, make sure you use your entire boost. Boost until you only have one hit point left. You'll never lose that hit point because you can't touch the ghost. There's no walls to hit. Except for maybe the finish line, but that's, that's really it. And the, now the second thing you have to make sure of, that's the only pit area on the entire course. You have to absolutely make sure that you you fill your entire energy bar or you won't be able to boost it up and beat that staff ghost time so yeah it's sort of anticlimactic that all you really have to do is know the course and you basically won still it's fairly stimulating on very hard mode because that's where the ghost has the fastest time a normal and hard it you, you just have you, you could win normal and hard mode without boosting quite frankly this is, this is also not the only Staff Ghost in the game. There's one for every course in the game, and you unlock it by coming within te 10 seconds of the ghost time in time trial mode. Time attack mode, if you want to be technical. Also, this is a Phantom Road course. It's probably the more evil of the two, considering the lack of guardrails. And, you know, it, it is pretty suspenseful when you're actually playing. I'm pretty sure you guys watching out there are probably falling asleep right now because I'm doing so well. This is pretty suspenseful because, you know, this is the end. This is it. If you win this race, you've beaten F-Zero GX. Or story mode, at least. Coming up on the finish line here. Game over. This plot makes no sense. I... I really have to say that. Oh yeah, take off your helmet too, that's nice. Don't show us your face or anything. Maybe they didn't bother modeling it. <laughs> oh, and here's the ending theme. the corniest the ending theme ever but there you go there's there's the ending theme here's the credits it's going to show us all of the cutscenes again This theme sucks. <clears throat> it should have just played Captain Falcon's theme song from like the pilot profiles. That would have been so much cooler.
so corny. Publicity? Uh, now I'm gonna make fun of the credits. Oh, there's not much credits left to make fun of. Oh well. Seriously though, publicity? So glad to be through with story mode. That is the end. We still have one final Grand Prix, however. The it is called the AX Cup. It's, it's got a bit of a backstory behind it, so I hope you'll stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching me slog through this whole mess. Next step is the AX Cup.